So the last one and a half days, you have heard a lot about the consumer business. And I think we have seen a lot of great business ideas. The next 10 minutes, we will talk about the B2B market, a market which is eight times the size of the consumer market. But if you look on the development in this market in terms of internet, how they use the internet, these companies, to share, to sell their products or to buy products is far behind what you see in a consumer market. So when we talk about B2B, we are not so much talking about the classical big Fortune 500 companies. We are talking about mid-sized companies, companies with 10 to 500 employees. So you can say these companies make the big volume, not only of employment in Europe, but also of buying power and buying volume. And I give you two examples of classical companies in these areas. So what kind of companies are these? Like take, take the left one, it's, it's a, a milling cutter. So this company is, as you can see, about here uh, 30 years old, has got about 100 employees. On the right hand side, also in another example, where a company producing heat pumps. Also, this company is 40 years old, has about 150 employees. So these kind of companies are the typical companies we are talking about when we talk about B2B. And when you look what they do today and how they sell their products today, it's mainly they go on trade fairs, they have wholesalers selling the products, they are not at all so much focused on the internet yet. So, and let me have a look what these kind of companies today expect when they sell their products or when themselves buying products online. So, what are the key reasons? So, really not a big reasons right now acquiring additional groups of customers. Yes, saving costs, distribution costs and sales is one reason why they would go online. Another one is strengthening the customer loyalty. And the key reason today is that they are saying that their customers ask for it. So right now, it's still not driven by really looking for new customers. It's really driven by the current customers. When you ask these companies, where do you buy your stuff? Where do you buy your products for producing your products? And they are classical, they say, marketplaces, yes. Website or online shops, I found some of the things. Then the stationery specialists, retailers, classically, offline and catalogs. In my e procurement system, the bigger ones say this, telephonical request, and website of shops. And by far, the most of them looking already today in search engines. But what do they expect? What kind of service, what kind of information would they expect on such platforms? Sure, they expect that they find the brands they know. They expect technical data. You will nearly not find it in the net. They ideally want to see the price. And even the most important thing for them as production companies, they want to know the delivery time. This kind of information difficult to find so far in the internet. So you can summarize, when you look on the B2B business today, you can say that the majority is online. Yes, they all have websites and they look online when they buy their products. 90% of this target group is looking on search engines. 42% are doing this mobile. And 70% are looking on videos to really understand what they want to buy and when they're searching. But how is this need they have fulfilled so far on the internet? When you look on platforms, what you find today is platforms where you can buy a hammer or a drill or this kind of stuff. But there is not really a marketplace for investment goods in Europe so far. And that's the key reason why we, as the biggest and by far biggest directory business in Europe, decided in this year 
to move our business from a pure directory business into a classified marketplace. And that's what you will find today on our platform already. You find products with price, with delivery time, with technical data. And when you look on our website, like four months ago, our company had zero products on the website. As of today, we have around about 1.5 million of these products on our website already. And we expect to continue with this trend. Why this? Because WRW has a very solid base. So today, we have about 530,000 suppliers on our platform with products in 47,000 categories. We have around about 1.6 million unique visitors every month on our website, 24 million per year. And this despite we are a very old company, and I always say we are in a category which is not represented here yet. We are not a startup, we are kind of restartup. We are pretty old, but stepping into this new area of marketplaces. So just the velocity today is already pretty high. So every minute five concrete offers are requested already today on the platform. And you have also must have in mind that we did not have products four months ago. So based on that and based on the fact that we have trade users already today, what you see here, that nearly 30 to 50% of decision makers today are already using our website. And when we ask them, what do you look after and what did you afterwards buy, you see that the, the average package is between 5,000 and 100,000 euro of purchasing volume after doing a research on the platform. So based on these facts, we expect strong growth in the future. What does it mean in terms of products? We expect to grow another 1.5 million products by end of this year and we expect to have about 10 million products on the website by end of next year. And coming with this, we expect also growing revenues up to 40 million with a two-digit growth rate. Thanks a lot.